Maggie here again, and I'm glad you patiently waiting for the reveal on the window. Uh, what we did here, I'm going to tell you what pieces of wood. We have a, a one by four piece of wood here and measured the window top to bottom and then used, that's uh, the bottom piece of wood that comes out a little bit there. That's a one by two separated by a one by six and then a one by two up on top again. And then here are also uh, one by fours. So these three are one by fours. And then our uh, house, this is a one by eight, only because we have a deeper window here and I want a little bit of hangover. And so uh, buy whatever wood you want. I mean, for this window, because it's fairly big, I went a little bit wider. Uh, but typically it looks like most of them online are one by fours. But um, I would suggest don't get the cheapest wood because you'll see when you go to paint it that it's pretty rough. So anyhow, what we did is my husband measured it all out and then we had a nail gun and went through with the nail gun and just nail gunned it. And I, I pre-painted it and then I had to still touch it up and fill the little holes that the nail gun made. Attached it with the nail gun here, 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 and on the side and then repainted it. And I also used uh, some um, filler Went through with it with the, my gun and filled in all the little cracks so it looks clean and, and finished all the way along the sides like that. And so it's uh, done. We were thinking about maybe painting it black too, but I'm holding back on that because I'm still going to put a pain blind that comes. It's going to be a faux blind, the wooden blind to uh, come partially up there. And so I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to change or not, but for now it's going to stay white. The other thing I got, and I, I've had this for, gosh, a while. This is how long I've been planning on doing this room, but it's uh, Ikea, an Ikea shelf. And it obviously was white, and I painted it black. And you'll see it later on, but I'm, gonna, I'm going to move this picture, and it's going to actually rest on here. I'm going to connect the shelf up here. That way it'll give me, I might be able to put a couple of other little knickknacks because this wall seems so big and bare. And I like to fill up space. Uh, unfortunately for some people, I know they don't really like that, but I do. So the next thing I kept thinking of, what do I do with this space here? And I know my daughter wants to be able to hang pictures and she wanted to do something decorative here. And then I came up with this idea. I've done it, something similar to it in one of the other rooms and I actually painted uh, a verse all along the edges of it. But this is a little bit thicker. This was left over actually, this one by two up here so I have enough left over and I'm going to nail gun I have two pieces exactly the same size I'm going to nail gun uh, it onto the wall and then these are going to be the top and the bottom and so it's going to be like this and I'll nail gun it to it and I'll probably put some more uh, cock in there so it um, looks finished and clean and then inside there we're going to put a few different things that we've accumulated like some cute little pictures uh, a little bit of a uh, a collage in there of things that my daughter wants to put in there and so that's gonna, going to be hopefully uh, tomorrow I'm going to start working on that because I painted these today and it's getting late but I'm going to put these on there and I will come back to show you these put on there and I'm gonna hang up my shelf and then we'll start on the cur curtain or the blind next. So yeah, there's a lot of parts to do uh, here, but hopefully you're patiently excited to see the final product.